always want to get better. We want to win trophies in all competitions we play in. It's just the mentality and the mindset and sure. I can identify myself with that. So yeah. that's what Bayern stands for, success, I would say. You know FC Bayern for the success, the trophies, the celebrations. But what is FC Bayern? Where do we come from? What do we stand for? Who are we? We travel around the city and take you back to our roots to answer these questions and more. FC Bayern is the heartbeat of the city, a driver of culture, a way of life. This is FC Bayern. Opened in 2017, the FC Bayern campus is a one-of-a-kind facility designed to develop elite talent and success in both the youth and women's games. With eight football pitches, 35 apartments for youth players to live, top-class training technologies, a 2,500-seat stadium for the women's team and youth teams, and so much more, the FC Bayern campus is key to the future success of the FC Bayern family. We're here at the FC Bayern campus, a state-of-the-art facility home to the youth and women's teams here at FC Bayern. We're gonna head inside and talk to some of the pros who live this on a day-to-day -day basis. So Sarah, why did you choose FC Bayern in the first place? I think when you think about FC Bayern Munich, it's just one of the biggest clubs there is sure. in Europe. So yeah, if you get the chance to actually play here, right. there isn't a second thought and you're just like, okay, I have to take this opportunity. And also it's super close to Austria, <laughs> which is also very yeah. convenient for me. Yeah. But no, it's just a great club with yeah. a big history and yeah, a lot of ambitions. Yeah. And we are here to win titles and that's what I like. So of course, that's yeah. why I chose FC Bayern Munich. So what is it? What is Bayern to you? What does it stand for? What do you think about when you think of Bayern Munich? If you hear like the motto, it's like Mir San Mir. It basically means we are who we are. And I think you just have to totally identify with what Bayern Munich stands for. We always want to get better. We want to win trophies in all competitions we play in. It's just the mentality and the mindset. Uh, and it really like impresses me. And sure. I can identify myself with that. So yeah. that's what Bayern stands for, success, I would say. The club's motto, Mia San Mia, is synonymous with what FC Bayern stands for as a team and as a family. Bavarian for we are who we are, Mia San Mia is a symbol of confidence in our principles and an unquenchable thirst for success. Thomas Muller summed it up best. Mia San Mia stands for the complete will to succeed. That's how we manage to turn games around so often. There's no middle ground, only wins. So let's talk about that time in the U.S. How did you end up at East Tennessee State? What made you choose that? What made you choose the U.S.? How did that go down? Yeah, when I was younger, it was always like, okay, I want to go to the U.S. and play football or soccer, as we yeah, say there. Yeah, one, it's one. okay, and play soccer because, yeah. yeah, it's so big in the U.S. Sure. Women's soccer is just, yeah, on a whole nother level. Yeah. So I wanted to experience this. And then my old coach from the college, he contacted me and was like, hey, are you interested? Um, we will give you a full scholarship. Um, what do you think about East Tennessee State? Yeah. And I had no idea. I was sure. like, OK, let's go there. Let's look at it. So I went there with my dad. We had a visit. And I was super impressed with just the whole campus, the whole lifestyle, the yeah. community. How would you describe the difference between the college setup and how other programs develop here in Europe. What's, what's the difference? Mm, it's completely different. The college setup is obviously the season is only in the fall, sure. which was a little bit difficult for me because I still had games with the national team in the spring. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, I feel like in the US every girl plays soccer and right. it's every yeah. college has a women's soccer team. Yeah. And here you have the club teams, so you don't really have the school teams. Sure. So you need to understand there's like club teams all over the place in Germany, but not like school teams where you go and play for your college or play for your high school. Right. Um, you play for your club team and so I think that's the biggest difference but I like both systems and I was yeah. just happy that I got to experience both. When you talked about the US being so huge for women's soccer do you feel the growth over here in Germany as well, in Austria? Do you feel that happening? Mm, a lot has happened over the last few years. Yeah. And we saw it at the past European Championship, yes. and it was like massive. We filled stadiums. Mm. A lot of people watched in front of the TV. And I feel like women's football is on a rise here in Europe as yeah. well. And I'm just super happy that I can be part of it. And I think there's still a long way to go. Yeah. Um, but we're getting there, and it's awesome to experience yeah. it, yeah. We saw that when you came to Louisville in 2021 for the preseason tournament sold out stadiums, packed stadiums. The appetite for the women's game is there. And like you said, it is growing. It's just about translating that here to Europe and continuing that expansion. And we've even seen some of that with, with your game, setting records last year 
I'm sure there's going to be more records this season continuing to grow the game. I agree. Um, I think it's just here in Europe, men's football is sure. so big. So everyone yeah. watches the men play, but more and more people now are like, hey, women's football is actually amazing yeah. as well. Yeah. So the European Championship changed a lot. And I just hope that we can yeah, continue to grow the sport. And yeah. I think in the US, they're already a little bit ahead, sure. which is amazing to see. I yeah. still watch some NWSL games, so I'm super interested yeah. in that kind of football as well. But it's good to see that everything is happening here as well. When you're here in a an important game and you can feel the stands full does that add something to you guys on the pitch can you feel that definitely I mean once you're in the game you're in the game and you're sure, like in the zone yeah. but you obviously notice if there is fans on the stands yeah. and you also play for them so like I said in the Allianz Arena last year I think we had 13,000 which was like a record for us yeah. for the women's team of Bayern Munich and it's it's amazing That's what I hope to see in the future, yeah. that all the games are sold out, but that's still a long way to go. As one of the only teams in Germany to have a women's side since women's football clubs were legally allowed to form in the 1970s, the FC Bayern Frauen have developed into one of the most elite teams in Europe. The rise to the top had its shares of highs and lows along the way, but the Frauen now find themselves regularly competing for major titles. With four German league titles already under our belts, a solid foundation of young talent, and a growing interest in women's football around the world, the best is yet to come for the FC Bayern Frauen. We are one of the rare clubs in Europe or in Germany which has a women's team right from the beginning. Because before the 70s, you have to know, women's football was banned in Germany. It was forbidden for women to play soccer because old men had the fear that their wives don't have time anymore when they play soccer or football all the time. Women's football teams till the 70s, they have been successful in the 70s. They become German champion, but then went up and down and up and down. But now there is a big potential. has always been important for Bayern Munich, as you can see with guys like Thomas Müller here. Yeah. How are we continuing to grow and develop moving into the future? First of all, our youth department always has been a key factor in developing the club. So there was always the idea of the mixtures of the first presidents with the foundation to have a good mixture of experienced players and stars and young players of the own youth department. One such youth player in the FC Bayern system is the American-born 17-year-old defender Grayson Detoni. After joining the club in 2017, Detoni has worked his way up through the system from the U16s to the U17s and now the U19s, where he currently plays. We caught up with him to hear about his experience at the FC Bayern Academy. So talk to me about what a day in your life looks like. You guys are obviously very busy with training, school, education. What does your day look like? Yeah, so basically, I mean, I've got school. I'm a normal kid. I've got sure. school yeah. always yeah. from 8.30 to about 3.30. Okay. And then afterwards, I go straight to the campus. Okay. I've got, um, we have a warm up usually, it's a half an hour, 45 minutes. And then we have a two hour training session or one and a half hour training session. And that consists of, depends on the day, but many different exercises and drills. Yeah. Um, and then after training, I go back home, do my homework, relax. <laughs> That's a day for me. What does homework look like for you? How long are you spending on homework? I would say maybe half an hour a day. Okay. Half an hour to an hour a day. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Sometimes it can be tough. Yeah, but that's yeah. part of what this looks like, right? That's, yeah. That's the. That's one of the costs that you have to yeah. you have. Yeah, but it's cool too. I mean, we're talking about Bayern being a family. It's also how we structure everything, right? It's more than just being a player on the pitch. It's mm -hmm. outside of the pitch too, right? How you handle things. For sure. How you interact with fans. Like, how do you feel that fan culture here in Germany being different from back home? Um, I think that Bayern has some of the coolest fans and some of the biggest yeah. fans. I mean, all the kids, all the all the guys here in Munich, everyone knows Bayern, everyone loves Bayern. Sure. I mean, you see people wearing jerseys just casually everywhere. I mean, yeah. it's one of the biggest places, one of the biggest clubs in the world. So, I mean, 
It's amazing. It's a really cool thing yeah. to experience as well. And what's the training environment like with you guys, you know, obviously playing so much, then studying, then training, then studying. How intense do these training sessions get in preseason? How does the, that develop throughout the season? Yeah. As you guys so preseason is really tough. I yeah. mean, it's always tough. I mean, sure. tons of training twice a day sometimes. Um, but I mean, it's the cost. You have to grind to get yeah. fit for the season. Yeah. And then the, during the season, it kind of cools down a bit. But at the same time, you have to keep the intensity up. You have to be prepared for all your games. So yeah, it's it always goes off and on, but it's always intense, concentrated, very it's lots of work, but it's it's good stuff. And we're talking about family of Bayern Munich. What is it like with your family being here and you obviously moved and had to come across? That's that's a big change. Yeah. My family always supports me. Yeah. I mean they drive me everywhere, they help me, they clean my clothes for me. That's, I mean yeah, that's nice. That's, yeah, that's nice. That's amazing. Yeah. Um but they'll do anything for me. They're always here for me and that's I'm so thankful to have them. Um, but yeah, I couldn't be here without them for sure. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's what the team wants to foster with your teammates too. Yeah. That level of trust and, and family yeah. all around. And with the coaches, important. with the players. Exactly. Everything, it's one family. Talk to me about developing at FC Bayern, how you can feel yourself growing personally. I mean, I've been here for six years now. Mm -hmm. Every year I feel like I've made, I've made steps, made big steps. I mean, new coaches, new players to play with. Every training session, learn new things. Every coach teaches you new things as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, you learn new tricks, new skills, new tactics, yeah. especially just something that you don't get to know anywhere else. Yeah, and I know we talked about the, the environment of the campus earlier, but now we're in a different place in this beautiful space. Oh yeah. Talk to me about having all these different options that you can have. I mean, do you ever get to just hang out and relax here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, during the during our summer breaks, we can just come to the campus, train, hang out here. We've got this amazing, beautiful stadium. We've got our yeah. relaxing rooms, we've got the cafeteria, we've got everything. I mean, we've got everything, everything you want. Setting up an environment to succeed, right? Giving yeah. everything you need to be at your best. I think that's that's what Bayern Munich wants to do. Growing. They've got everything for you here. Yeah, perfect. Everything. What about the kids that, you know, living here? How does that setup work with the, the constant ability for people to just be here? I mean, the players, but also, I mean, they, they have really nice rooms, yeah. great, amazing food. I mean, some of the best food I've had. Yeah. Um, yeah that's a good plus. That's yeah. a very good plus. Yeah. I mean, I, I eat lots of food. I need, <laughs> need my that's, good food here. Yeah, you're, you're training a lot. You, you need it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So now we're in the gym, mm -hmm. state-of-the-art facility. Yeah. Is it hard to get you out of this place? This is so For nice. sure. I, after training, I just love coming in here, just yeah. doing some extra stuff. I mean, look at this place. It's yeah. incredible. So we're looking at a photo of Iron Robin here on the wall. We passed Thomas Muller. Mm -hmm. What's it like to be around the history of these different people? I mean, these are some of football's greatest players right. of all time. I mean, yeah. it's amazing to be a part of this club yeah. and to have these people around you. I mean, it's, it's motivating crazy. to see Robin's yeah. face working it out is. here. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Love it. And what about your German? I in heard German. you speak in German earlier. Yeah, it's I'm I'm fluent now. I'm amazing. How long did that take you? It took me like three to four years. That's but see that's impressive, yeah. right? I'm I'm impressed. Do you think German was a difficult language to learn? For sure. I think it's yeah. one of the hardest languages to learn. Yeah. I'm I'm learning French as well right now. Compared to German, it's way German is so hard. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Well hey. Keep I mean, yeah, I need him to be my teacher because I'm still trying to learn. Yeah. But yeah, keep it up, man. Seriously, you guys are crushing it and yeah. Take advantage of this. This is I the Bayern family. I will. Yeah? Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Over the years, the FC Bayern campus has produced some of the club's top talents, including current players like Thomas Muller, Jamal Musiala, Alfonso Davies, and Josip Stanisic. Developing within has always been and still remains an integral part of FC Bayern's philosophy. The campus does really have three times the size of Sebener Straße. Wow. Every team has its own pitch. Every team has the best conditions to train. The youth, youth players can live there, can, can train there, can make their homework. Everything is there but with, with better conditions than before. One of the highlight features of the FC Bayern campus is the Skills Lab Arena measurement technology, which allows players to receive real-time feedback about their performances in a contained environment. Tools like this help FC Bayern stand out amongst other youth facilities in Europe. It's a vision once again, seeing what the future is, the next step, setting yeah. these people up, and also giving them a chance to learn. That yeah. is, like you mentioned, where the campus players, a lot of them do live and yeah. take their education. Yeah. It's a holistic development of growing the people as players and people, and I think that's also important, yeah. again, for what Bayern Munich stands for. 
That holistic development also extends beyond our football clubs to other key aspects of FC Bayern, like the Bayern basketball team. First created in 1946 by the former footballer Franz Kronberger, the basketball team has become an important part of the FC Bayern family. Competing domestically in the basketball Bundesliga and internationally in the EuroLeague, FC Bayern basketball has become a major destination for international talent like former NBA players Cassius Winston, Paul Zipser, and many others. But in 2010, the family was asked by Uli Hoeneß and the, as a president or as a manager, should we invest more into basketball? Do you see a chance there? Because he saw the possibility to reach new target groups and he's a big basketball fan yeah. as well. And all the members made the decision in a, in a survey, okay, let's invest in basketball. A key factor in this additional investment in basketball is the development of a new arena opening in spring 2024. The SAP Garden, which will replace the current stadium, the Audi Dome, will seat up to 12,500 visitors and be shared with the ice hockey club EHC Red Bull Munich. This impressive arena signals the high ambitions of the club moving forward. So we've been talking a lot about how FC Bayern is more than a club, it's a family, but yeah. that extends beyond the men's team as well, right? We sure. have the esports team, the basketball team, the women's team. Yeah. How does that family aspect really go beyond FC Bayern as the football club? We are a football club sure. in the beginning. So we are founded as a football club. We will, has always been open to other kinds of sports sure. or new target groups and experience something and hear an exper experiment like that. And the most important thing is it's one structure, it's one club. They are all members and owners of yeah. the club. And that's, that feel leads to this feeling of belonging and staying together. So that's, sure. that's one of the reasons.